Welcome to the first ever Tiny Colony MVP preview. In this video, we'll explain what's coming in the first iteration of the construction and management game mode, the first step in conquering the Tinyverse. Let's take a closer look. To start, you'll be asked to connect your wallet and select your Colony NFT for use. You must own a Colony NFT to play the MVP. You don't need a character NFT to play, but they can be imported through the use of the portal cell. All NFTs can be purchased on the Fractal Marketplace. With everything loaded in, you'll be able to start digging right away. The first cell to be constructed will always be the Nest Hall. This cell will be the central hub for your ants and will act similar to a town hall. All upgrades to your colony must go through this cell. While constructing and saving cells, players will be presented with a timer. This is skippable for the MVP, but in later updates, you'll have to wait for cells to be built, unless you use Teeny to speed it up. For a base to become self-sufficient, four cells need to be constructed. The lab, the nursery, the farm, and the mine. Once a player has created these cells and is now generating resources, sugar, scraps, and larvae, they will gain access to additional cells that they can build and utilize on their own. At the game's launch, there will be an in-depth guide on the use and functionality of all buildings. This process of colony expansion continues. The production and utilization of the off-chain resources, sugar scraps and larvae, will aid in your efficient expansion. In total, there will be nine cells to construct and upgrade within the MVP. The final cell will be the training room. Here, the user can assign a character to begin training their stats, receive an XP boost, and get ready to defend against PvE raids that will be implemented in the Alpha. We're incredibly excited for our Tiny OGs and a select group of playtesters to finally dive into the Tinyverse on June 30th. This is just the beginning.